How's it feel being again? Two years in a row, national seed. No, it's uh, amazing to have the opportunity to return to the NCAA tournament. You, you see the field is incredibly strong. Um, so to be able to continue our season and, uh, you know, especially to, to get a seed, which means you have a buy, uh, you, can, you can really prepare for, you know, the potential two teams that you're going to face. Um, you get a little bit of rest so that you're coming into that game on Sunday fit, fresh, ready to go. What do you know about either of those teams? Honestly, not, not a whole lot. We don't cross paths with, uh, with either of those two teams. I mean, the one thing we do know is that Missouri State has yet to lose a game. And so, uh, and, and Denver's the champions of their league. So, uh, you know, both, both teams are going to be incredibly strong. We're going to spend a lot of time looking at video and, and getting to know both of those teams. And, uh, you know, after that Wednesday game, we'll be ready to prepare specifically for one or the other. Did your team earn a higher seed than what they got today? Um, you know, it's, it's, it's tough. Uh, we always like to think, um, you know, that, that we're a top team. And uh, to, to be seeded means you are a top team. And, uh, you know, ultimately there are, there are people in that room, and I'm sure that they had reasons uh, that, that were completely valid for, for why they seeded us where they seeded us. Um, and, and to be honest, as long as we have the bye, which I think gives us a little bit more time to prepare, uh, at, at this point, no matter what your seed you are going to face either a, a team that's just won a championship and is flying high uh, or, or a team that has had an incredible season and uh, puts themselves in this top 48. Uh, so it, honestly, it doesn't matter. When you went and looked back at the film from Saturday, did your observations immediately after the game change any? Did you see some things you liked or some things that concerned you going into this week? Well, I, I think... Uh, our reaction was really good in, in the second half um, from that SMU loss. And, and I think when you, when you look back, there are things that we could have done better. And what we'll do is we'll spend the next couple of days addressing those, those things in training and video, and we'll get better. And that, that's always been our, been our approach, um, win or lose, learn, learn from that experience, learn from, uh, you know, what you did well, what you did poorly, and, and try to improve on it. Uh, so that, that game's no different, and it's certainly something that uh, we're, we're going to use in the next couple of days to get better. What's your reaction? A couple of teams from the American making the field. Yeah, our, our conference this season has been incredibly strong, and uh, to see you know, three teams in, in the tournament. Uh, th and there were a couple teams that were sitting right there on the bubble uh, as well. When you look at the RPIs of a Memphis, the RPIs um, of uh, what, Temple. Temple was right there. So it's, it's just it's a strong conference. And then to have two seeded teams with SMU and, and, and UCF, uh, it's been that way all year. It doesn't surprise me. And I, and I think, uh, you know, hopefully this conference and, and in, in the near future, you assume, yeah, this conference is just going to get better. You don't want to look ahead, but could be a possible round, another round with SMU. Yeah, uh, that did stick out to me, that that was a possibility. And um, you couldn't have two teams more familiar with each other over the past three years than, than, than us. So I was surprised uh, that we got put in that bracket with them because I, I feel like the committee usually tries to um, tries to keep those conference rivalries apart until later on. But uh, yeah, we both teams know each other. If, if that happens, I'd, I'd love that opportunity. And I think our guys would love that opportunity. You had a strong turnout Saturday night. You're going to need oh. all of them and more on Sunday. I incredible turnout. And uh, incredible turnout despite the fact that it, by Florida standards, Orlando standards, it's pretty cold. Um, and, and so, yeah, if. if uh, it would be incredible for us to get a, a crowd like that again. I'd, I'd like to invite all the fans back. And thank, thank the ones that came so much for their support. Um, it's going to be a really good game, and uh, it's, it's going to be exciting with a lot on the line. So we hope that they'll come back out and, and support us and, and help us kind of push on to victory. Is this something you kind of talk to the guys about throughout the year, like getting back to this tournament and the NCAAs and the, the things that, that it holds? I, I think we have those 
goals at the beginning of the year and, and we talk about where we want to go and, and what we want to do and what we feel like success is from uh, kind of the outcome standpoint. And then after we do that at the beginning, we decide, okay, well, what do you need to do to get there? Like, what, what's our process going to be? And then from that moment on, we focus on our process. And every day, um, we don't lose sight of the fact that we want those things, but then that really just drives us to train the right way, to, uh, to do the right things on and off the field, um, to, to be focused, to be great teammates. So we, we go right back to our process after we set those goals. But the, these guys have those ambitions. We have those ambitions as, as a staff. Can you use the early exit from last season as motivation this week? Uh, they nod some guys from last season that they were in and out very quickly. Yeah, I, I think as long as we that – they're aware of that. They're aware of that. I'm aware of that. Um, I, I think it's always about our our on-field performance, taking care of the details, um, how we train leading up to it. What's, what's the game plan? Are we going to be tactically aware – throughout the game of executing the game plan. And, and when we do that, which, which we've done all year, now, now you're ready to play. And, and we, don't, uh, we didn't deviate from our, norm, our normal process for the SMU game, the final or the semifinal, and, and we'll stick with our normal process for this too and our normal focus. And, and it's carried us to this point. So um, we feel like if we do that and we, we keep the focus on the right things, we'll, we'll be ready. And you just said everything's going to kind of like to the same in training and doing the same things. What do you, mm -hmm. what do you tell the guys that keep having the, the same mindset and the same drive, even though it's, it is the NCAAs, but still having the same drive as they had during the season to get those results? Yeah. Well, I actually think the, the drive and motivation part is much easier right now uh, because there's such a big carrot out there for them. Um, the, the drive and motivation part is it's a little bit harder when – you know, you're playing a midweek and, and, you know, on either side of that midweek, you have two big conference games and you have this really congested schedule. So I think the motivation's there. Um, now we just have to make sure that we're focused on the right details.